Welcome to today's video tutorial on using the Flutter Gen package. In this video, we'll dive into the wonderful world of Flutter assets and how Flutter Gen can save us from the treacherous traps of typos and runtime errors. Get ready for some asset management fun. Using asset path string directly is not safe. But wait, what's this? A wild typo appears. Fear not, Flutter Gen is here to save the day. First, let's install Flutter Gen. There are two methods we can use. If you're on Mac OS or Linux, you can use Homebrew. Simply run this code. For Mac OS, Linux, and Windows users, you can use Pub Global. Run Dart Pub Global Activate Flutter underscore Gen. Make sure to set up your path if necessary. As a part of Build Runner, add Build Runner and Flutter Gen to your package's pubspec.yaml file. Next, we must do the pubspec.yaml configuration. At this point, we must have assets included in the pubspec. Here goes all the config for Flutter Gen. Watch out for the indentations. By default, the generate files are in libgen. You can set other directories like libsrc gen using. If you use some linter that is line of code sensitive. Integrations are optional if you use another third party package, like Flutter SVG to use .svg files like we do with fonts and images. It's important to have your integrations as project dependencies. You can also add color files in XML format if you're reusing from an Android project. Okay, that was all the configuration we had to do. Now let's see the magic. We run the above command. If all goes well, you will have a new gen slash folder in the path you specified in the pub spec. In the case of images, we access through assets. Since our image becomes an image object it is not necessary to wrap it in the widget, we just call the asset image method. If we need fonts, we have a class called font family, where we can use the fonts directly. Finally, in order not to leave you without the example of the colors, in case someone uses them that way, we have a class called color name that allows us to access them. If you enjoyed this slightly amusing take on asset management, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more entertaining Flutter content. If you have any questions leave them in the comments below. Until next time, stay safe and keep coding.